Alright man, listen. No need to explain too much in this intro. As you can see by this title, I'm showing you guys my art supplies for this video. This been um this video has been requested a couple of times, so I thought I'd put it together anyway. We gotta get to it. Right off the bat, I'm gonna start off with the sketchbook I use. I use the Copic sketchbook small. This one is five by seven. Listen. I'm not sponsored by Kofi either, I promise. I know I got a lot of this stuff, but I'm not sponsored. I'm planning on getting a bigger sketchbook than this, actually. Because, um, you know, I want to do, like, a full spread with characters, like, multiple characters and stuff. So, I'm thinking of getting, like, a 9 by 12 sketchbook, like, the size of the one underneath it. But, um, I also use the artist trading cards. You see me use these in a couple of videos. You know, I got the pencil. I just, I just use a lead pencil. I keep it simple. I use a lead pencil, 0.3 lead, just for like details and stuff. I got my refills right here. Um, when it comes to erasers, I use the kneaded erasers. I just like recently started using these. I don't know how I didn't know about them earlier. I use the Cole Erase Prismacolor pencil sometimes. I haven't been using them a lot recently, but just like to outline my characters and stuff like that. You know, sometimes I like to I like to add that white outline to white border. So I got the Jelly Roll white gel pens. For outlining, listen, I use the Copic Multi-Liners, mainly 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.05. That's, that's like the sizes I like to stick to um, when I'm doing my characters and everything. <laughs> listen, I promise you I'm not sponsored by Copic, but yeah, I do have Set A with their markers, Copic Set A. Along with that too, I use their skin tone pack a lot with my characters. Also, you know, if you watch some of my previous videos, Arteza sent me some markers that I use sometimes. These are the gray tone and the skin tone pack right here. I also also have a 60 pack of their alcohol markers too they um they sent me these a while back and the other pair of markers that i use the other pack release is the ohuhu markers i have the ohuhu brush markers i believe this is the 48 pack of them but yeah i haven't been using it recently but i still got them i um i also have like a prisma color colored pencil skin tone pack i sometimes practice with I don't use them too much, but for um, my customizations, I use the Posca pens. I have a set of 15 of the fine point Posca pens, and I also have the medium point. I have like a pack of them. <laughs> I got a couple of the big Posca pens too. Now, um, let me see the other stuff I have. You know, I got my ruler with me. I use my ruler when I'm drawing my characters, make them more precise. I also have this cutting mat. A lot of you asked about it. It's um, I use my X-Acto knife sometimes, so I have the cutting mat with me. But yeah, that's pretty much it for like recording. I use Final Cut Pro. I know there's some questions about that. Um, a Blue Yeti mic, that's what I record my audio with. And, um, and you know, I still record with my phone. So I use a phone holder to record my videos. When it's like adjustable, I can move around for different camera angles and stuff when I'm recording. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it in terms of like my supplies that I use for my um, videos. But you know, I didn't want this want this video just to be only like showing my supplies and stuff like that. So I had to I had to put together a little piece. You now I had to put together a little piece for the video. Also, you know, last time I did a supply video earlier this year when I showed my supplies, I talked about like some of the books that helped me, like some of the books I use like to help me draw and everything. So the the books I use are the Christopher Hart books. I have um Figure It Out Human Proportion by Christopher Hart. That's a book. I use that book a lot. I still use it. And I have um, the Figure It Out Drawing Essential Poses by him. You know, those are, those are like the two main books that I use to help me. The previous supply video too, I talked about um, like my process of coming up with a character and stuff. I guess it's pretty much the same, but this time around, like I listen to music a lot more. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I started listening to music a lot more since I've been drawing, like since I started drawing more often. You know, and I'm talking like different types of music. Like I, I look for like different type of genres I don't normally listen to and stuff like that and try to like, you know, like draw out, make like a visual representation of like the mood, like what's going on in the song, stuff like that through the characters. You know, it gets, it like motivates me, it like inspires me to do different stuff, like different type of characters and everything like that. I, I look up to a lot of musicians too, mu musical artists too. So um, it, it makes sense for me. Listen, I'm not gonna talk too much. I'm not gonna talk too much for this video. I'm gonna let the music play. Let me know what you think about this piece too. You know, leave a comment, thumbs up, whatever. Let me know, let me know. Let me get some feedback.
but um thanks for watching this video i hope it was helpful i hope you guys liked it I'm, listen, I'm, I'm gonna try to drop some more bangers for you guys i got some more video ideas i got some more videos that come out so um, please subscribe if you haven't already and i'm out